Your child's ophthalmologist has recommended strabismus surgery. Strabismus is when your eyes are not properly lined up together and do not look at the same thing at the same time. The brain ignores images from one eye and eventually that eye has poor vision. If strabismus is not treated during childhood, it may lead to a lifetime of vision problems. When the eyes are not lined up evenly, it is called strabismus. With this condition, the eyes do not work together. Each eye will send a different image to the brain. To avoid confusion, the brain learns to ignore the image from the weaker eye. Most of the time, strabismus is caused by problems with how nerves and the brain control the eye muscles. The goal of strabismus surgery is to adjust the eye muscles so the two eyes are even with each other, looking at the same object at the same time. This helps your eyes have binocular or two-eyed vision. Binocular vision is necessary for depth perception, which is the ability to judge how far an object is from you. Depth perception is also your ability to see the world in three dimensions, or how high, wide, and deep an object is. Strabismus surgery is usually done as an outpatient procedure, so your child can go home afterwards. You should plan to be at the surgery center for several hours. Before surgery, your child will be given general anesthesia so that he or she is in a deep sleep. Also, your child may be given medication to help relax. The eye's muscles are attached to the sclera, the white of the eye. During strabismus surgery, the eye surgeon will make a small opening through the conjunctiva, the thin layer of clear tissue covering the eye. From there, he or she will reach the eye muscle. The surgeon will adjust the length or position of the muscles to make the eye work properly. It takes about a month or so to know the final results of the surgery. It is possible that your child could need additional strabismus surgery to keep their eyes evenly aligned. Also, your child's eye surgeon may recommend certain glasses, perhaps with prisms in the lenses, to help the eyes work together. As with any surgery, there are possible risks with strabismus surgery. Strabismus surgery risks can include sore eyes, redness, eyes that are still uneven, double vision, infection, bleeding, a scratch on the cornea, decreased vision, retinal detachment where the tissue lining the back of the eye lifts up, and problems from anesthesia. There are alternatives to strabismus surgery. They may include the use of certain types of eyeglasses, eye exercises, patching from one eye, or prisms in eyeglass lenses. Your child's ophthalmologist can explain why he or she chose surgery to treat the strabismus. Your child does not have to have the strabismus treated. However, if it is left untreated, your child will not develop good vision as he or she grows. Each year, thousands of children have strabismus surgery to improve their vision and their quality of life. If you have any questions or concerns about the procedure, ask your child's ophthalmologist. He or she will be happy to help you understand the risks and benefits of strabismus surgery. Also, if you have any questions or concerns about your child's eyes or vision in general, don't hesitate to bring them up. Your ophthalmologist is committed to protecting your child's sight.